What's going on guys? It's your boy Wybar36 coming back with you with a update on the hood exit that I just did. Um, I didn't make a video on it of how I cut it out. I was pressed for time working, you know, people stuff that we do. Um, but it looked, came out great. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna show you guys in a few minutes. Um, and I wanna get your thoughts and comments on it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, besides that, besides the final update of me showing you guys that, I think I'm going to actually, um, if I get a chance, wrap the exhaust pipe if I get a chance today. Um, some other things I wanna do is I actually wanna put the rest of my body kit on if you guys haven't noticed that it's not on all the way, let me show you. <laughs> it's not on all the way. Still got parts here that I gotta do. Uh, still gotta put this part on here. Another thing is, oh, I did do something yesterday. Man, check out how these wheels sit now. Oh my gosh. Shout out to E36 Garage for giving me info. I mean, it's really simple, it's just some spacers, but I mean, I had a different set on there and I was being lazy and I only put one set on. So the other side is still pretty sucking, sunken in. So guys, you can check and definitely tell the difference here. Look how, I <laughs> look at the difference. It's pretty deep in there from what the other spacer did. But my gosh, guys, I mean, she sits really, really nice with those with that spacer, I mean, I am impressed. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna put the rest of the body kit on today and the back parts of the rest of the body kit, Pandem kit, shout out to Pandem. And uh, check it out guys, back to what we were actually here for. Let me know what you guys think. I did not go with the diamond cut. I actually went with a different route and just was looking on you know, looking at a couple of different things and actually just tried to mimic and copy that. Man, I think it came out so dope, guys. I mean, whoo, <laughs> it really came out really nice. All that is is basically a base coat of prime black and I just like sprayed it with a dull gloss and it came out just how I wanted it. I really didn't want it too shiny. I mean, I don't have any really shiny parts on the car. If you look at it, my um, my grill, all these are matte colored, so that's what I'm kind of going with. I mean, the only thing that's gloss besides my, my hood pins, check that out, guys. <laughs> Three piece. <laughs> but I mean, give me give me your, your thoughts on it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if I need to do anything different. Um, but hey, let me know. I'm glad that I got it done. And uh, we're gonna get right to the other things that I wanna do. All right, guys, be right back. All right, guys, full body kit is on. Just can't wait to really just wash it. Oh, I did, I did put emblems on. I hope you guys like the new, the custom color that I got them done at. Shout out to Redline Graphics. And I do have the kit fully on except the bumper still <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so lazy with that bumper but check it out guys I want to skip to a couple of things here still don't have the bumper on but I am changing out well cleaning my spark plugs um, like I said guys if, if I haven't said it before in earlier videos uh, I'm still having a couple of issues as smart as far as uh maybe probably blow by i'm not sure what it is but it's a little smoky like it's not supposed to really do that but i mean she runs you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna find out what's going on in there and clean these spark plugs see what else i can uh take care of but yeah guys let me know what you guys think with the full body kit on except the bumper it made her just, it, it kind of just like filled everything. I am gonna catch you guys back up. Um, I've done a lot of things today. First things first, cars out of the garage. 
check that out. She's outside. She's about to get uh, sprayed up. Tell you guys a little something something. It's about to uh, be a uh, big thing in October. We have Wick Fest. So this is going to be the next chapter of the videos, Route to Wick Fest. I got so much work to do. Cody, you do as well. Uh, AJ, so do you. So time to wash this thing, get it cleaned up, take some photos that they need. And um, so we're gonna do this now. I'm probably just gonna let you guys see me wash the car. Other than that, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Wickfest and what the requirements are to get in the show because you can't have a, a terrible car, basically. So, um, I'm gonna let you guys, I guess, see me wash the car. I'm gonna try to do this as clean and as quick as possible because I have to get these photos today. The bumper needs to be on today. Don't worry, I'll put the bumper on today, but right now I need to wash the whole car as it is right now. So, stay tuned with me, guys. I can't wait till the sun actually comes from behind my house so I can actually see what the color really looks like clean and just spot free. for you that's what i like lucky for you that's what i like 